Good evening everybody, I'm Visuals by Shay. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm here at the Richmond Bridge to do a paranormal investigation. And I'm here with my mother behind the camera. This is her very first paranormal investigation. Look, we're here to see if the claims are true about a, a young fella called George that was pushed over the uh, the wall over here above us back in the early 1800s. He was a convict that um, used to do some really nasty things to the convicts that that while they were working. So what we're going to do now, we're going to enter this, this first tunnel over here where my good friend Stacy did a paranormal investigation where she saw, saw a shadow figure appear up on the wall. Over here I've got some gear on the ground, so if you want to come over here, I'll show you some a few gears out. So right here is obviously my camera case equipment set up. So I've got like all, you know, the microphones and lenses and stuff like that. But tonight we're going to be using some trigger objects. These are just normal lights that you can use to light up and spirits can walk over. We normally turn them off and we can put them on the ground and when they light up, they will show that there's spirits around us. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them through some of the tunnel right there. We've also got a sensor meter and what it can do once you put it down. And so what this would do, if a spirit wants to touch it, it will start lighting up like that. Like that, see so like that. We've also got a, another um, device in here that is already turned on, I don't know why. So this is called a ghost meter pro. You've obviously seen that in my previous documentary. What it would do, it will light up and these will say yes or no, they'll blink for us. These are two cat bowls, so what they will do, you put them on the ground, you ask a spirit to come up and touch them, and they can actually uh, move the balls around, which will indicate by flashing that they're actually moving. So that's a very good toy that I like to play with. So these are all my fun toys I'm going I'm to test out tonight. So I want to quickly say to Stacey again, thank you for letting me borrow this gear. Um, let's get into it. What we're going to do, to start off with, we're going to put our sensor here. The Ghost Meter Pro on the staircase where Stacy has said to me that she's seen a shadow figure, so that's there. We're going to put these two shadow devices maybe on the other side over here. Right, so we are completely surrounded right now, guys. And um, let's see if anything happens. So, first of all, we're going to start our investigation with introducing ourselves. My name is Shay, this is my mother Jackie. This is her very first time doing paranormal investigating. Look, you just want to come out here because I've got a good friend named Stacy that has told me that she's caught shadow figures on camera. Um, and we just want to communicate. So if there is anyone out here that wants to communicate with us, hopefully George, um, would love for you to do so. We've got a couple of equipments here on the ground that will um, do this if you go in here. Oh, we've got a, we've got a ghost meter pro on the staircase here, which will light up yes and no's as a response. So this is my mother here. She is... Uh, coming on a paranormal investigation for the first time. So you want to introduce yourself, Jacqueline? I'm Jackie. Jackie, and, you, and this is your first time investigating. Yeah. How do you feel about... Oh, fine, actually. Yeah? Yeah. It's so not, I like it down here, so I feel comfortable. So what are you expecting to happen for tonight? I don't know. I'd like to see something or hear something. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of gear around us, and hopefully that will trigger something. I hope so. We'll get the ghost tube up here, you guys. I actually had a comment in my last video saying what devices do we use. To, to show you guys I'm not going to um, be using any um, mobile data, I'm actually in flight mode, which means like I can't get any interference. So that's turned on, so I'll give that to you Jacqueline. So what, so do I, what do I do with this? Just ask questions. Well you can ask questions, I'm not an expert, I'm an expert, I'm just tagging. Maybe start with just introducing. Yeah. What'd it say? I don't know. I'm gonna come up with a, with a word. Him. So you know how you said, I need to take the phone? They pretty much said him. So I'll take it from him. So if he, look, that just went off. I said yes. Take it from him. So if he, look, that just went off. I said yes. Hello. Say that. You wanna go in closer? So that just went off, the first bit of prayer. Yep. Can you see that? Yeah. Can you please um, show your presence by doing that again for us, please? Just lighting that up for me, please. Just so we can have it on record. Do you want mine to back up a bit so you've got some space to do so? Blessed. We are blessed, yes, we are blessed. Are you blessed? So, me and my mum are just down here to investigate um, the paranormal. What year is it? It is 2022. Would you like to introduce yourself? 
Could you tell me your name? I'm able to hear it. I'm lost. You're lost, okay. Well, you're in Richmond, at the Richmond Bridge. So right now I'm communicating through the ghost tube. So far we've got um, a voice say him, because mum was saying she doesn't want to use the phone, I should be doing it, and then a voice came through saying him, which is me. We had the ghost tube go off multiple times. We had another voice come through saying what year is it, um, and another voice saying um, he's lost or they're lost. What's that little thing down there for? That's so spirits can come up to it, and they can touch it like this. Oh, okay. So it's a way for us to, to hear and see if they're close by. So, if there is any spirits in here, would you like to communicate any further by interacting with any devices around us? You're, we're more than, we would love for you to come through. So, I read online that there was a spirit named George. George was a convict that reportedly used to um, enjoy um, whipping convicts that had to work on the bridge. One night he had a few drinks and he was tossed over the bridge and unfortunately died in the water. Do not. Did not. Do not. Did not. Do not. Oh, do not. Oh. Do you, are you saying do not continue the conversation or the story? That's a pretty clear reply to that, wasn't it? Is this you, George, we're speaking to? Is this you, George? Sure. It is? Is the story true? You fell off the bridge? Did someone push you? Yes? Do you know who it was? Did you hear that voice? No. I heard a voice behind you. George, did you hear that voice too? You, you didn't? Okay. It must be just for me then. So normally I can hear um, sometimes voices around me. Not all the time, sometimes it's also... Rest in peace. Yes, we would love for any spirits that are here to rest in peace. We're also going to go to the graveyard tonight. Would you recommend doing that? Father. Dog. Father and... A... Oh, George had a dog. Stacy told me he had a dog. Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah. Is that true, George? You had a dog? You did? Can you tell us his name, please? Do you remember your dog's name? Oh, there's a shadow that's been past you then. Hey, George. Hey, George. Oh, I've got chills up the back of my face. Yeah, there's something just came out of your back then. Give me the camera. Can you maybe touch a device that you're near? Could you maybe light up one of the devices for us that you're near? George, do you like people coming down here and investigating? Be quiet. And... You've been told. Yeah. Any questions you want to give, Mum? Are you at peace, George? Emily. Who's Emily? Would you like to talk to Emily. us? Emily again. Who's Emily? Yeah, who's Emily? Is Emily a partner of yours? Was she a partner? She was. Were you married to a, a person called Emily? I think that's a yes. Wow. Oh, it's going off again. Could you play with this device again, please? You can. When you're ready, just to... Yeah. What to say? I don't know. Say that again. Harry. So we're going to go to the graveyard soon. Should Mum go to the graveyard? Can you light up this device in the corner here? Maybe. I said maybe to you. Is that right? You want, you're want you saying maybe to mum to go to the graveyard? So far we've had three names. We've had George, well supposedly. We've had Harry and Emily. Mm. If we are talking to multiple spirits, could you hopefully light up a device if that's true? Guide. Guide. Yes, I'm trying to guide this conversation. So what I would like for one of these spirits is just to light up one of these devices for us to see if you are here. And if there is three spirits, could you um, let us know by using one of these devices if that's a yes, please. There we go. 
Thank you very much. We really appreciate that. Thank you again. So we have three spirits with us. So we have George, Harry, and Emily. Okay, well, thank you again for touching that. We really appreciate that. Are you uncomfortable? Would you like us to leave? Yes, okay. Well, thank you so much for communicating with us. We're going to leave now. We're going to leave you to your space. We're going to leave you to rest now. Thank you so much for communicating with us. And we do not give you any permission to follow us home. We are just here to talk to you for this moment in time, all right? I'm sorry, but we can't allow you to follow us home, okay? All right. Thank you for communicating. Thank you again. So let's pack up the gear. Can we just stop this? Um, you just got to close it. No, keep it on just in case. No, just keep it on, yeah. Fucking hell. That's why we keep it on. I think they might be getting angry, maybe. Okay. So, thank you very much for getting to the end of the video. I really appreciate the support. I'm thinking about doing a part two to this uh, video of going back to Richmond. Let me know in the comments down below. I've got a theory that the three people we're talking to was definitely George, definitely probably his partner, and probably the person that pushed him over the edge. So what I think it is, is a love triangle. If you would love to see me go back there for part two, in the comments below, say, return the bridge. Go back to Richmond and figure out some more answers. I want to figure out for myself as well. So let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for the support. Like, subscribe, and uh, turn the notification bell on for more videos. I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.